<laughs> so thank you guys so much for hosting both this project and for chatting with me a little bit today. Um, with the challenges we've had with the industry of both cork and fruit size, we really wanted to look at how we can improve our irrigation efficiency. And so Dr. Lee Kalsis is looking at our irrigation recommendations, but we also wanted to look at how we can implement that in the orchard. We've got some old irrigation systems in some of these pear blocks, and sometimes we have trouble with pressure or clogging filters or putting too much or not enough water on. And so we wanted to be able to think about what are these ch common challenges and then how can we fix them so that folks can implement improved irrigation. And so we looked for some challenging blocks and you guys had one that you were kind enough to let us work a little bit in. So tell me a little bit about what was some of the key challenges in this block? Well, we had a lot of issues, but our biggest challenge is probably the runoff on a 12 hour set. Mm -hmm. um, we can't run a 24 hour set because of the hillsides. And uh, our fruit size was not good for the most part. You know, we had pockets where it was okay, but not real good. Um, we had dry spots on the, on the blocks from the sprinklers hitting trees and not getting past. Um, and then just, you know, we're having issues with equipment, trying to get on the hillsides after a set and uh, we're spraying about every 10 to uh, 10 days to two weeks. So we've got to coordinate the water around that. Mm -hmm. And so that's been a big, you know, a challenge for us. Sure. So what was the standard irrigation setup in this block? Um, we had the, the old um, Rainbird impact sprinklers on a, uh, basically a 36 by 36 spacing. Um, and they just weren't real efficient, you know, it's, but that's what it was. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. So we had Troy Peters from WSU and Chet Walker from SMW come out, do some assessments, and come up with a design that we implemented on half the block, so we can compare. Yep. Tell me a little bit about what's the the new system. Uh, the new system um, are micro sprinklers, and they're R10 sprinklers, and they're on an 18 by 18 spacing. Mm -hmm. So the uniformity of the the watering is just fantastic compared to the old system. Um, we're not getting the dry spots. The trees look better. Um, we noticed a difference in the, the way the trees look in the first year. And we're excited to see, you know, in the next several years what it's going to look like. So, Do you have very much runoff with that new system? We don't have any runoff. Um, right. It's really, you know, we had roads getting washed out where we'd have to haul in dirt. Um, that problem's been eliminated so it's great how long does it take you to get across the block with the new system the new system we can if we need to we can get around the eight acre block in two and a half days um you know that's about twice as fast as we need to but if we you know a hot late summer if we need to get across it real quick we can do it so that's a great advantage and i think you told me that it's easier to get back mm. into that block it doesn't take as long to dry out for equipment yeah, it definitely, less water more often uh, seems to make it easier for us to get equipment on it in a timely fashion. Sure. Um, and safety, you know, it's hillsides get wet. It's, you know, safety comes first. Sure. So. So, Renee, what was the impact on the fruit? Did anything change? The fruit size was our main, main thing we noticed, was the fruit size increased about one size overall. Mm -hmm. And our returns, uh, our packing returns showed us that we had a significant increase the first year, but a major increase the second year. And um, I believe that the returns would pay for the the increase in returns would pay for the new system in just a couple of years. Great, definitely worth it. Thank you guys so much. Well, it was, I think, really useful to look at one of these common challenges of hillsides with runoff and try and look at a potential system to, to fix it. And I really appreciate you guys hosting the, the, the block out here. Well, we thank you, too. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks so much. <laughs>